Okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm really not sure what's happening here. This is supposed to say, a happy Mother's Day mom. I see the mom, but don't quite get where the happy Mother's Day comes in. It's more like, is it tiki tiki ti why? Or, uh, what does that say? Hi guys, it's Marsha Gauntlet Kirby and welcome back to another episode of Brownface TV. Okay, so this is not really a, I guess it's a haul, but not really a haul. Um, I was just trying to, I was just trying to, I wanted to try out the mom's, mom jeans trend along with the, um, what is it called? Is it the peg leg trend? If that's whatever the correct name is, I'll put it on the screen. If peg, peg leg, is it peg leg? It is not peg leg. I'll put it on the screen. I want to try out the trend, but I went looking around um, YouTube for some inspiration and I did not see any um, brown girls that were talking about the mom jeans trend. Um, they had it on in various uh, videos like uh, vlogs and stuff, but they weren't showing how they looked, except for one. Um, and I can't remember, I think it's the, uh, I started following her, the Quantrell lady. I'll put her... I'll put her handle um, on the screen, but she, and that's what actually inspired this whole, well, um, it led to more, it led to just a, 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 a spiral, a spiral of shopping. Uh, so I saw her video and she had on some Abercrombie and Je Abercrombie and Fitch uh, uh, mom, mom jeans and they looked so beautiful on her so i was like where did you get those she told me so i said okay i'm going to try this i did get a discount and then from there i was like well let me try out some other brands and then i can make it into a video now i have um i have had a pair of mom jeans before from zara uh it was I want to say two years ago, they were, I remember they were a dark pair, um, they fit well enough, but then I lost weight and then they got, they looked, they started to look kind of weird, and there was no stretch anyway, so it just, um, I don't know, it just, it, it looked weird. Yeah, so here we are today. Anyway, I am going to be showing you different pairs from different brands. Okay, I had to pause the video to figure out the name of the style of these jeans. Barrel leg jeans. What was I talking about Peggy? The name of the jean is the Peggy pant or Peggy jean um, but that I purchased. But barrel leg jeans, um, that's the style I was looking for. And I think my friend Blanche from Be About Town, I think she had a pair. She, had, I think she got a pair from, I want to say Walmart. I think that's where they were from. And I was like, oh my God, it looks so good. And I've never even really thought about that, um, that style. The styles that I mostly have in my closet are wide leg. I love wide leg jeans. Those have been, I've been wearing wide leg jeans since I don't even know when. I, that's that's my ultimate favorite. And then I remember the flare was almost like my second favorite. Now it's a skinny jean because it just they work with my a frame. And I love um, a skinny jean and some flats and a skinny jean with some boots. I just like I I. I personally like it and I wanted to add some um, more to my arsenal or to my closet. I do have, I just picked up a pair of uh, cargo, cargo jeans and um, I think that's about, oh paper bag, oh my god how could I forget about paper bag? I think maybe paper bag may be my, it's, it's a top three, one of those. I love pa a paper bag pant because you have that stretch in the waist. Um, and then you have that baggy fit. In the video, I tried everything on with a basic rib knit. I think it's like a, it's called a racer, racer back crop top, just to kind of keep everything consistent so you can see the shape, the style of the jeans and how they fit. Let's get into this video. Zara was not on my list to purchase from um, at first. And then I said, you know what? People usually gravitate towards uh, Zara for jeans. I know that I... Um, for the most part used to, but the sizing has been off for about, I think maybe since, I don't even, I think maybe since COVID started, the sizing has been very off, um, 
but once you score a pair of good jeans from Zara, you'll have them for a while because I have stuff in my closet now that's been in there for years. But anyway, I, it wasn't on my top list uh, because I think that's why, because I do have, um, I think right now most of my jeans may be from Zara. So I didn't want to get them from there, and then I knew that the fit would be off, and I was right. So I purchased a 6, and I purchased an 8, and these are mom jeans fit. Um, I had one in my cart, I think this was the one I had in my cart for a while, and I said, you know, let me pull the trigger so I can do this video, but best believe they're going back. Um, and I just came from work, by the way, that's why I'm all gussied up. Anyway, so these are the jeans, you will see them in the B-roll. I ordered a 6, which is my rightful size for the most part across the board. Sometimes I can get into a four depending on the stretch. Um, not really a lot of eights, but I said, let me get a six and an eight because I've heard about the uh, the sizing of Zara jeans lately. It's a good thing I did that because the six, Lord Jesus, I could not, I had like this much space to button. I could not button those up at all. So I tried on the eight and the, the six was um, the color I, I, I did want if I was gonna uh, keep the jeans. But um, this was available and I want, it was the same jean, but this one I think has, this one is a little lighter. So this is the jeans, uh, they have whole uh, rips uh, in the, by like the knee and then it's frayed at the end. Uh, the other one, I forgot what that has. Um, I think I actually took that one, I think I took that one back. This is going back, but I left it here just to kind of show you guys uh, the video. But you could even see in the B-roll that they were still pretty, t they were, to me, they were tight. Um, and I don't know, I didn't like the way, I didn't like the way they fit. I think I did take footage, did I take footage of the the size six if I did I'll put it up so you can kind of see the color of those but this was um yeah this was that this was I, I didn't like them there's no stretch in these whatsoever and um yeah I don't know what else to say these are just going back I didn't like the way they fit and I really did not want to add another pair of Zara jeans to my collection anyway so return I said this but when I put in a search for the barrel leg jean I actually came uh, these actually popped up I did get some for my they were like almost the same style but the ones for my girls fit better than they did on me I like the color for my girls they were pink but anyway so I saw these and popped these in my cart same thing I got a six and a four because usually I'm a size four in uh, Old Navy, but for this style, it, it was not working. The four, yeah, just was not working. And then I found the six, just a little bit, um, I don't know if it was big. These are extra high rise, um, sky high straight. These were supposed to be like the whole barrel leg fit, but I didn't really like the, I don't know, I, I didn't like the way, I didn't like the way they fit on my body. There is no, oh, actually there is. There, and I had high hopes for these because I don't like a lot of distressing on my jeans. I just like minimal, but this had only one uh, rip by the, I think it's by the knee. And I love the fact that it was frayed at the end, but you can see it's very light. Uh, and the price was right. They were only, I think, 20 bucks. But these are also going back. In the B-roll, you can see how they fit. These do have a bit of stretch, so that's why I thought the four would work really well. But the four was a little bit tight. Um, and you'll see, because I tried on both, the six was, I don't know, I wish this wasn't hitting the way I, the way I wanted to. So yeah, so the Old Navy jeans are also going back, sadly. Now I will put up a, uh, some footage of my girls with their jeans on. I love the way they fit. I wish that the, I wish I could have found a pink color for myself in these jeans. I did find one at Zara, but they were skinny legs, um, skinny skinny jeans so I'm keeping those they were dark pink just to kind of match I like to do that match with my girls um, their jeans are a little bit uh, lighter in color and again like I said they have that barrel leg uh, type of look all right now for the jeans that started this whole um, well in my mind it started the haul I didn't this wasn't the first uh, the first uh, pair that I purchased so, or maybe it was. Anyway, so Abercrombie and Fitch, I told you, I saw, I think her name is the, the Quantrell Lady. She had them on, and I said, I'm going to get those. Now, they had a, I forgot when I ordered them. It was before Mother's Day. Anyway, they had a deal. They gave me like a $10 off coupon, and then these were on sale for about $60. Now, they were pretty pricey. I think this is, these are the most expensive pairs in the selection that I purchased. I'm, 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 
underwhelmed. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm... I'm only thinking of keeping them because I got the $10 off, so they came up to, they were, with the discount, not with the discount, with the percentage off online, they were like 71, and then I got the $10 off and it came up to 61, but that's the only reason why I'm thinking of keeping them. I tried on the 6, and the 6 fit tight, like it was a bit uncomfortable, but when I tried on the 4, the 4 fit okay. Wait, was the 6 uncomfortable? I think the 6 was... Now I have to put up the B-roll because I, I don't even remember. I think the 6 was, um, it gave me like more of a baggy fit through the hips because I'm, I am small on bottom. Like I don't have wide, like really wide hips and a big butt. So yeah, it just, um, yeah, the 4 fit better, the 4 long. If I was planning to keep these, I would keep the 4 long. So these have, these are tapered at the leg, the Abercrombie pair, these are tapered at the leg. They're a light wash. These are mom jeans, this is the size four. They do have a little bit of fraying at the edge, but it's not that uh, cut off fraying look, if that makes any sense. Like when you cut them and then, let's say you wash them and you get that fray look. No, these are hemmed, but then you can see, almost like they've been rubbing, they've rubbed on the ground if they were too long. And um, I didn't find them especially long, or not how I wanted them to be long. Um, I love the way how there's like a little bit of distressing on the pockets too, but I don't know. Um, I don't know, because ultimately what I want to do is style up these jeans for you guys. Style up this, this style up this style of jeans. Okay, I'm at a loss for words today. Um, or for, I guess, different words. So I want to be, I want to uh, put together outfits. I want to put together outfits with this style of jeans for you guys because like I said, when I went online to look, I didn't, all I saw was um, that one YouTuber that I told you about. I didn't really see anyone really, well, not anyone of my complexion or deeper <laughs> uh, or a little lighter styling these type of jeans. And I just want to know if this style is going to um, really work for me uh, because if it's not, then I'm going to, you know, take back what I purchased. So for me right now, I think these are going back, the Abercrombie pair. So the second pair of jeans I purchased were, and I saw these when I put in barrel leg. Um, so when I was looking for the barrel leg, these are the, I think these are the first, I'm sorry, these are the first ones I purchased when I put in barrel leg. And then um, the Abercrombie and Fitch pairs were the first pairs I purchased when I put in mom jeans, when I did a search for mom jeans. Now, these I am keeping because I can't return, but I actually do like the way these fit. These are the barrel leg pair. They are a light watch, the wash. These are from J. Crew. Uh, and you can, s not, I was gonna say you can see, look how wide these are. This, I mean, they fit, but they look wide here on camera. But I got these, these are size six. I got these for, it's funny, because I was gonna go, I was gonna go between the, I was going between the four, because again, in J. Crew, I can get away with size four clothing. This is my first pair of jeans from J. Crew, but something said get the six girl, because I knew it was, um, uh, non-refundable. So I'm glad I did get these six because I do like the way these fit. These are very basic. There's no they're light wash. There is no distressing whatsoever. No, um, there's going to be a little bit, uh, just a tab. You really can't see it. Uh, of fraying on the bottom. And these were $14.99. I got them. They were on serious discounts. Uh, but again, like I said, non-refundable. But that's fine. For $14.99, that's not a big loss. But... Even if they were returnable, I would have kept them anyway because I like the way they fit. They're pretty comfortable. These don't have stretch. They feel like they do, but on the website, there was it said there was no stretch um, in these. And but I do like these. These are these are workable. I know that frame. I, I think Monroe still has a pair of frame jeans, and Simply Shauna has a pair of frame jeans. But I was just not willing to spend that. Um, money that price point for a pair of jeans because I have uh, so many that were under $20 and they fit fabulously now I don't have a pair of barrel leg jeans but you know so I'm gonna work with these style them up and see if they work for me and for my style and if so then maybe I will invest in those frame jeans so these are a keeper I, I can't return them anyway so all right 
the last pairs, the last, these last pairs are from American Eagle. Now, I do have a couple of American Eagle jeans and I love them. I love the fact that they put stretch in most of their jeans. Uh, my coworker had put me onto these. She actually raved about the Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Fitch jeans as well, but they, um, uh, they didn't work for me. She put me onto American Eagle a while ago and I I have been looking at them ever since. I love their jeans. Now, I think for me, for American Eagle, I hear my child. You have to either, yeah, I size down. For me, I, I, I don't know if I would size down. They have so much stretch in them that I usually just get a, a, a size four. Uh, and actually that is, that is my normal pair in, that, that is my normal size when it comes to stretch jeans. But even with the, so I went to the mall and I said, let me take a look because I saw the sale sign outside and I said, let me take a look in American Eagle. And then of course, all the jeans were just hitting me in the face like, oh my God, here I am. And they had so many, had a, they had a plethora of mom jeans. So I saw this one in store. They had a size four. And like I said, I'm usually a size four in their jeans because of the, the massive amounts of stretch. But for some reason, those were, I don't know, they fit tight. So I ordered, did I order this? Is this the pair? Oh my God, maybe this is not even the pair. This is the pair. I ordered them in a size six because the four, like I said, were right there um, on me. But then I got the six and the six were, it was too big. It was just, um, yeah, it was too big and it had stretch. But the I, these have so much stretch in them. They, it's like that soft pair of jeans where you know they're going to be very comfortable. This has just light distressing here by the pocket there and that's that's pretty much it. That's probably why I really like this. And there's a little bit on the back pocket and I really like these but these are going back only because they are um they fit big. I, I don't know what happened what between the 4 and the 6 and there's no real there's no distressing on the ends of these. And um these are I'll put everything in the description box, but these are mom jeans extra long high rise because I love my jeans long. That same day I went into the store and I saw these. Now I, I'm definitely keeping these because I, I am in love. Okay, I am so in love. They are so comfortable. They fit well. Um, they have more distressing than the other peers, but I I am in love. And they it's I think they how do they market these? Are these like a wide leg comfort stretch waistband baggy mom jean? Uh, I could have sworn on the side, and these are high rise. These are size six. I tried on the four in store as well. I actually walked out of the store with a four, but I something said, you know, what, let me go back because I feel like, you know, once I eat, once you know, your stomach kind of depending on the time of the month, they're just not gonna fit properly. So I said, let me just go with the six, and they fit perfectly. There is, like I said, more distressing here, more distressing on both sides. There is, look at this, the bottom is distressed. It's not wide leg, but it's wide. It's not tapered. It's wider than the other uh, jeans that I showed you. I, I just love, and you can see in the B-roll how they fit. They fit perfectly. I am so in love. If they had like a darker wash, I probably would have gotten them. And I will, of course, hopefully they have more. These are six regular. I would have loved these a little longer, but they didn't, even on the website, they were sold out. They probably, because they were so, they're so comfortable. Oh my gosh. So I really can't wait to style these up. All right, the last pair, when I went on to, I went on the site to purchase because I think these were in store night, they didn't have my, they didn't have my size. So I said, let me go purchase. And these were inexpensive. These were about 20, I want to say about 20, either 25 or $27 when I went online, they were having a sale. I saw these, the, they look like skinny jeans, but these are marketing to me, marketed as mom jeans. These have stretch. These, they don't say high rise, but everything I look at is high rise. These are, I ordered these in a size six and a size four, and these, the size four, fit. They fit perfectly. These have no distressing whatsoever, just a classic pair of mom jeans. I love the color on these. You can see the bottom, no distressing. I was trying them on and rolling them up. Uh, these have a bit of stretch. I, I'm definitely keeping these. These fit per, to me, again, just like the last pair I showed you, these fit perfect 
Lee and I will link these below I hopefully they're still on sale hopefully they're still on they're still available so then you can if you want you can get yourself a pair now I got these in a four extra long like I said because I think with these mom jeans the long wouldn't be long enough so I had to get the extra long uh, I ha do have extra long in the skinny jeans and those are long but that's how I like my jeans to fit uh, I know when I was in store the woman said well these are not supposed to be you know, that long, it's supposed to kind of graze, like, uh, like uh, maybe a little bit below your ankle. Mm, you know, I, I, I want them long. Thank you. Because if anything, I can roll them up if I want that, if I want my ankle to show. All right, guys, for the three pairs that I'll be keeping, there are two from American Eagle and one from J. Crew, the J. Crew Ballad jeans. I can't return them anyway, but I do like the way they fit. I think this is going to be a very good kind of knockabout jean. I just... I, you know, when you can't, when you don't really want to think about it, you just kind of throw these on, run to the store, run to the mall. Um, I also have the American Eagle jeans, the one that, the ones that look almost like a skinny jean. There's no distressing, so I love that. And there is stretch. I really like that about this one. And of course, this American Eagle pair that has the most distressing. This it's marketed as baggy. That's what it is, a baggy mom jean. Um, and I, I really. I really adore these. I probably won't be able to wear these in the winter because of all the distressing, maybe with a pair of tights on, but probably not. Uh, but I, I do love these pair, and I love these three jeans, and I I like actually that there's a mix of, uh, a mix of wash colors in this. For now, I'm going to hold on to this for another, probably another couple of days, the Ab Abercrombie and Fitch pair, because I got them for a discount. I want to see if I can... I don't know. I'm going to see how they fit now. I I don't want to hold on to them because they were discounted even though $61 is it, it's still to me pretty pricey for a pair of uh, a pair of jeans, but I did get them on discount. Um, I think they're normally either 99 or over $100. I'm not sure. But I'm going to hold on to them to see how they look. But let me know what you think. Do you think these should be a keepy uh, a keepy? A keeper, these are the 80s mom high-rise, if I didn't mention that. That's what it says, the 80s mom high-rise. Let me know if you think these are a keeper. I mean, I'm sure I can make these work, but do I want to make it work for $61? All right, guys, that is it for me. Next up, we'll be styling these jeans. Hopefully, I can put together some looks for you. Please let me know what you think, which ones I tried on, which ones you think fit perfectly, which ones you think... Yeah, girl, maybe you agree, agree with me with some of the pairs. Like, girl, no, take those back. Those are too tight. Uh, anyway, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.